Previously on Welcome to Myanmar. After leaving Yangon, we decided to give it a shot at hitchhiking, and after dancing on the side of the road for a little bit, we met some really nice locals who picked us up. Hey, we got a ride, guys. Look at these awesome people. Right here, this is Lin and Bebe. And they're going to get a puppy, but they picked up two dogs on the way. <laughs> <laughs> they drove us eight hours up north to the city of Mandalay, but we quickly hopped on a bus and rode a few more hours straight to Bagan. We spent the next few days learning about some local customs and exploring this beautiful city filled with thousands of ancient pagodas. We got a nice view, we can see a lot. And we see Goldie. We see Goldie. We want to get to Goldie. You will get lost in Bagan. You will <laughs> end up in the middle of nowhere. And you'll have fun doing it. Yeah, that's all part of the fun. Don't forget, guys, when you're traveling, you might find yourself at beautiful places and you get obsessed with taking photos or videos, for example. Don't forget to turn everything off and suck it in, breathe it in. <laughs> Taking it in. Welcome to, to Myanmar. Myanmar. <laughs> we have a crazy morning this morning. Yeah, a little bit of a rough start, I'd say. What time do we wake up? We woke up at 3 a.m. with 3 a. plenty of time to spare. Yeah. Um, we wanted to catch this 4 a.m. train. We heard online it was the train journey from hell. So, so of course, we want to try that out. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we tried to check out of the hotel. There were some issues. They couldn't find the keys to, like, check us out and open the drawers because everyone was sleeping because yeah. we checked out at 3.30 and then finally we left the hotel maybe a quarter to four maybe a little bit earlier than that and we ended up r walking the wrong way to the train station stray dogs chasing us and yeah, screaming at us crazy morning and then we finally get to, to the train station like two minutes late and the train just left but but yeah living in asia for like four and a half years or whatever has taught me that if you do miss a train you can just get a taxi to the next station or a bit further down the line and catch the train up because these things go so slowly through the city. Yeah. So we like negotiated a price with a taxi driver and uh, we jumped in the back of the truck, whizzed like an hour outside of the city. <laughs> Didn't realise we were going to go this far away. We pulled up at some shithole town, we don't know where, and the train is coming in 10 minutes so yeah, we caught so the train up. So Apparently we, uh, we made the train, well we're going to make the train. <laughs> yeah. And we'll show you what this ride is like. You know when you're at a train station and the, you hear the din din, the next train is for blah blah blah. Or here. Oh, don't mind him, he's just sleeping. So in Myanmar at the train station, they get an old piece of track, hang it by a string. I'm not going to hit it loud because I don't want to wake these guys up. <laughs> Imagine that. Bang, the train's coming, motherfuckers. <laughs> Everything. 
Just a little bit. So we've just pulled up into a town in the countryside and one of the interesting things that we can see here is the locals getting paid cash. So we we're obviously thinking that this train is the only way from the countryside. We're in the middle of the countryside here. It's a direct link back to the city of Mandalay and they obviously send all their vegetables, rice or whatever it is they grow out here onto the train and then when it gets to the market it gets sold. Maybe their friends or family send all the cash that they've made profit back on the train so they're just down there picking up their earnings which is pretty cool. This is like seeing what it would have been like in our countries back in the day before internet banking and all the rest of it. So it's really cool, it's really rustic here, it's really awesome. It's also nice because there's a bunch of Ladies walking around selling yeah, snacks and coffee, coffee Coca-Cola, beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to go over this epic bridge, which is very, very famous here in Myanmar. Yeah, it used to be the tallest bridge in all of the British Empire, but it's not that cool because it was built by the Americans. It makes it so much great. cooler. <laughs> Let's check it out. leaned against the window too hard and crushed my glasses. <laughs> Starting a new trend. The one-eyed glasses. Oh, really? Really? We can walk. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can walk. Oh, that's it? Okay. Now we can walk. Hey, hey, we made it to Sipa. Yeah, we did. That train ride was actually really cool. Yeah, really cool. Like, oh, train journey from hell. Yeah, we heard so many people complaining, like writing blogs about how terrible this train was. It was like the coolest train ride I've ever been on. I mean, if you're squeamish and you don't like mice running across your feet <laughs> and bugs flying in your ear and whatever, and like, you know, heat and the rockiness and bags falling on your head, then fine, it's a shit train, but... But it's such a cool experience. Yeah, it's a massively cool experience. Like you were saying, the best train ride you've ever been on. Yeah, and the best part about it was we stopped off at these small towns every once in a while and just seeing the local life there. Like yeah, like seeing, the way they go about their day. Yeah, saw so many cool things. It's like olden times, Steve. Yeah, it's like taking the tap machine back in town. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Do you know where I can buy a uh, nine foot tall bongo? <laughs> Never mind. We'll keep looking. <laughs> Don't worry, Ties, we will find you that nine foot mongo. How do I look? Good? You try it, Mark. Sorry, I don't want Three thousand? Hey! <laughs> Two thousand, you! Two thousand? Two thousand? Hey! Two thousand! Oh, okay! Okay! They're very good! Photo, yeah, photo! Video, YouTube! These will be my, these will be my third pair and Steve's second pair because when you're on the road you just sit on them, <laughs> drop them, lose them. I'll give you one. Oh no! One five. Oh. One six. Two thousand. Come down, let me. Come down a little bit. <laughs> 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 little. Bosh, bosh. Bosh, bosh. So, well, bosh, bosh. Bosh. That's what I say before I uh, <laughs> say, seal oh. the deal. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. How do we look? We got some new glasses. We for the fourteenth <laughs> time on the trip. Ah. <laughs> uh, Tomato salad going down, okay. son. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Paddy's trying to copy me, he's got his own adventure hat I got now. jealous of his adventure hat, so I had to get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to start a three-day trek, so we want to just introduce some people because these are the ones who are joining us! What's your name, where are you from? So I'm Stefan, I come from French. Boom. Next, name. I'm Beatrice, from? I'm coming from Chile. Barbara, Chile. Leah from Germany. Xavier from France. I'm Nicole from Chile. Tracy, South Africa. Yeah, and Key from Myanmar. Yeah. <laughs> Ola from Myanmar. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> so these are our wonderful tour guides. Yes. yes. All right. And we're about to begin our trek now. <laughs> Hopefully, we make it back. You have the option of doing the trek as a private tour or joining others as a group. It was cheaper to do it as a group. And for us, it was a win-win, since it was more fun to enjoy it with more people anyway. So we made it to a local village, hanging out with some of the kitties here. Hi! Oh. 
They're coming. <laughs> you cute. Cheers, my old chap. Hello, maybe just speak a language. <laughs> Bye -bye. All right, so our first stop in the local village. It's really nice hanging out with the local kids. Now we got a porter to carry up the food so we can actually eat tonight. So we don't die. <laughs> bye bye. It's <laughs> so cute. The kids are awesome here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a strong one. Bye bye. <laughs> so for anyone who's seen my India vlogs, you probably remember Jerry. Well, we're on this adventure today. And I met Jerry's cousin, Tom. <laughs> hey, Tom. <laughs> Tom's coming with us today. You ready to go, Tom? Say nothing if you're ready. All right, he's ready. But Tom just needs a quick face. break. Tom, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, bro. He loves ear massages. All right. Yep. So we found uh, Tom's favorite food. As soon as I opened my sweet bread, he jumped up. Look at him. Oh, ready? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Tom. Last bit. All right, all done. Tom's hot, taking a bath. Too many times taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quick one. Apart from having the choice of a private tour or a group tour, you also can choose whether to go on a two or a three day trip. And since we were just absolutely in love with Myanmar, we decided three days is always going to be better than two. Alright, we finally made it to the top of the mountain! Woo -hoo! Oh, I'm getting a little delirious. I've been walking all day. Whoa! So cool. Alright, so we got good news and bad news. What's the bad news? Bad news is we lost Tom. <laughs> he ended up going back down with another local that had something good smelling in his yeah, back. Yeah, he ditched us. Good news is we made it to the treehouse and this place is epic! After a fantastic first day trekking through the forests, we enjoyed resting our weary legs and eating a delicious dinner. It rained pretty heavily throughout the night but it seemed to clear up just as the sun was starting to rise. It was a pretty surreal moment. We'd never seen a sunrise quite like this. Watching the clouds roll over the mountains beneath us and watching the sunlight getting sandwiched between the morning clouds and the mountains was pretty damn amazing. All right, we're saying goodbye to this beautiful tree house. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and our day two trek begins right now. So it rained last night, whoop, and that means this mud is extra slippery. I'm definitely gonna fall today. Woo! <laughs> it's pretty cool as we change elevations, the environment changes as well. As you can see, now we're going through a bamboo forest up top. There was a lot of pine trees, but it's all changing now. This is steep. Part of having a walking stick is it collects food for you. <laughs> Be careful, it's some pretty rough rapids. That was a close one, I nearly fell in. It's 
escape down this stick. Oh yeah, yeah that's the way you do it. <laughs> so we've escaped from the other crowd. We ditched the hot chicks. Yeah. Now we get to be our real selves. <laughs> Who wants to look at a beautiful ass the whole time? We can look at Steve. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I made it! Patty, why don't you get a walking stick? Uh, yeah, okay. Steve, watch out! It's dangerous. Whoa, Steve! Watch your head! Man, that was a close one. <sighs> Eventually, we caught up with the rest of the group, but since most of them only booked the one night tour, we said our goodbyes and went our separate ways. Oh. See ya. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye. I missed them already. Oh. <laughs> now more food for us. Yeah. So what is this? It's a no there and tea salads, a special lunch. <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Uh, apparently, this is the most steep part of the day, but luckily it's already dried up. Because it was all rainy and stuff this morning. It's, so it's wetting this baby up. <laughs> Slip and slide. Oh yeah, if this was wet, this would be hella crazy. Even though it is pretty crazy right now. I'm gonna fall down. No, oh, I'm pretty good. Here we go. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, we're going down, we're going down with a frown. Just kidding, we're smiling. Turn that frown upside down. Wow, is this where we're staying tonight? Look at how beautiful this is. All right, so we made it to where we're staying tonight. It's actually just this little home in the middle of a valley, and it is so beautiful here. So we're gonna hang out here for the rest of the day, spend the night. Tomorrow we're gonna trek a little bit, maybe a few more hours, and then we get to a river, and we're gonna tube down a river back to where we started. And that is gonna be cool. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the time in this beautiful little home. Welcome to the kitchen. Having some lunch right here. <laughs> What's the name of the game? Uh, Cambo. What? Cane bowl. Cane bowl. Name of the game is win it. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. You gotta Ready? keep it up. Keep it up. 20 times. One, one two. two. No. As you can tell, we're really good at this game. Okay, this is the one for 20. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. Oh. We didn't break the world record for keepy uppy Burmese style. But on the other hand, it could be worse. Look at this place. Check out this crazy sunset rays into the full moon look at that beautiful thingy me jiggy look at these lights ready <laughs> fucking awesome <laughs> Hey, 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 come with me. We're going on a trek. Today's day three. Today's the last day of the trek. We are hiking down to a river, getting on some tubes, tubing down that river to the end. You guys excited? I don't want this trip to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay here forever. Oh, well, it's unfortunate that we have to end our trek today, but it's been an incredible journey, and I'm excited to finish it strong. No better way to start the day than a nice sunny walk in the Burmese countryside. Hey, this way. 
Oh, well you missed the clear way there, obviously. Look at that. It was obviously a very clear signpost that this yeah, was the way. You can't see the trail? You wanna see something cool? See this plant here? Check this out. See how he closes when you touch him? Watch. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Makes you wonder if um, plants can feel and that vegans are just wasting their time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm sure it's something to do with science that I don't understand. The joy is about going in the front and leading your team of expeditioners through the jungle is you always take the full brunt of the spider webs which normally isn't a big deal but you should see the size of the spiders here in this country they're mentally big out here in the wild bamboo forest things are getting crazy not really <laughs> Hat down, hat down. So we made it to the river, and in celebration of making it to the end of the trek, they're giving us some rice wine. I think the word wine is very loosely used. It's like vodka. It's delicious. It's very smooth and buttery, actually. Yeah, it's actually smooth. <laughs> now you got fish to eat. Oh, nice. Fish. Now comes time for the chill part of the trek. Whoa! Whoa. Gonna rock the boat, gonna rock the boat, baby man. We're hopping on these tubes and riding right down the river. That's all right. Nice. <laughs> you missed the beer. You missed the beer. That's why. Oh, come here. Come, here. come back. Just throw it. No, no. Okay. Go, go. <laughs> all right. Go for it, girl. Just jump on in it. <laughs> yeah! Okay. okay, got it. Good job. Thank you. Woo! This beer. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Whoa. 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 Ah. <laughs> hey, guy. Woo. What you do? better than any lazy river in any theme park. This is the real lazy river. <laughs> wow. Boom, so we finished that trek, got showered, so we actually had some proper showers for the first time in three days. Looking Feeling fresh nice. and clean in my ah. new trekking t-shirt. Yeah, we got this t-shirt from trekking, <laughs> awesome. As a little surprise, Mr. Bike will give you a nice custom t-shirt of your experience. Um, it was an amazing trek. And not only is the trek coming to an end, but so is our epic adventure here in Myanmar. Unfortunately, this is our last day here. Time constraints. I've got to go back to work. Steve's got to keep traveling. I got to keep traveling. It's a yeah. short and sweet trip, but that's the best thing about these kind of trips is it's like a taste. Yeah. It just, makes you want to come back for more. Yeah. It's you know a little, I mean? little glimpse of what it's like here. And it tastes delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've done so much in just two weeks. I feel like we've been here for a month. The second we crossed the border, we knew we were in for an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> right? It was, yeah, it was just culture shock immediately, but it was so positive. The people here, I think that was one of the first things we experienced. Just the kind, kindness of the local peepee, people, the local peepees. It's the same thing <laughs> for me. It's the same thing anywhere in the world. Like. All the best countries you'll ever visit will be the countries with the nicest people, the nicest food, and, and the hottest chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the beautiful nature. So I think that's like the three things we captured here. Is yeah, the like people, the, the food, people, and, the, yeah. and, the, and the environment, yeah. for sure. Like, we 100%. explored from even like our first like in Pan, 
exploring. Pattan was a massive surprise for us. We, like, did, we weren't even ex expecting to go there. It was just like, oh, well, Yangon's too far, let's stop in Pattan. <laughs> and what, I mean, for me, I actually think it was my favorite place on this whole trip. The trekking was amazing, Bagan is next level. But Pattan was just such a surprise. The scenery, the nature is unrivaled that I've ever seen. And the coolest part about it is, is instead of just looking at it and it's like, well, wow, I'd love to be able to go up there. You can. Yeah, it's like, whoa, look how crazy that is. Imagine going up there and we're like, let's do it. Let's do and it. Did it. And like, look at that amazing temple. What, I wonder what it'd be like to go up on top of it. You can. Um, yeah. And that's what's, what I love about it out here. It's still the Wild West. There's no health and safety regulations. <laughs> There's no one saying, oh, you can't do that because of this, because of this. And yeah. Um, it's just, it's now's the time to be coming to Myanmar. And hitchhiking, we hitchhiked here successfully. <laughs> we hitchhiked in Myanmar as well. <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. If you want to hitchhike in Myanmar, it's super easy. It's the best place to do it, yeah. especially now because people are so interested. Like, what? They're like, what, what the these hell white are you people doing? doing on the side of the road? And they stopped and they, so many people stopped and asked us if we just needed help. And eventually we got a ride all the way to Mandalay, which then brought us to Bagan and we explored the pagodas there. Absolutely beautiful. That's like one of the places, one of the few places places that you see pictures of and it actually looks like the pictures you yeah. see. Imagine Chiang Mai Old Town just without the 7-Elevens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's talk about the food quickly. All right. The food in Myanmar is... it's hit and miss. It's either the best food ever, like we've had some of the cheapest, most delicious Indian food in our lives and we've both traveled in India um, because obviously it shares a border. It's got some really good spicy food. It's got tea leaf salads, tomato salads. If you're a vegetarian, this country is definitely somewhere you need to visit. But then because of the different flavors and ingredients and spices, there are the occasional dishes where you're like, okay, this tastes like feet. And besides the flavors of everything, one of my favorite things as a budget traveler is the price. This is by far the Next cheapest food, cheapest food I've ever had in mm. my life. So it's, I love to eat, so you just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Yeah. We at one one night we had like four meals each, and it cost about three dollars. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing about budgeting. If you come to me, my guys, your accommodation is going to be the biggest thing. It's, yeah. it's if you're traveling by yourself, you're going to be paying fifteen to thirty U.S. dollars per night. If you're traveling with a friend or a group, then half that. But food, food is next is, to nothing. Don't even think about food. Yeah. It's going to be pennies, dollar, a dollar or two a day. But Isn't it? It's just next to it. It's so cheap and so good. Overall, it's so worth it. And the best, honestly, the best things for me are the free things because it's the nature, the environment, the surroundings, yeah. and the people. Just the vibes here. Are you gotta so come here, man. You gotta come here. All right. <laughs> We've been blabbing a lot. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, his channel. Give us some likes, let us know your thoughts, leave some comments. This is a little different, this video, how I've been making other videos. I've just been doing kind of like daily vlog style, so this one... You've I've been, been hanging out with a professional. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 but let me know what you think. Maybe we'll do more of these. All right, guys, we're cutting it here. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Rock and Peace. roll.